Hi all, today we are going to discuss comparison between overhead and underground systems. So in the overhead systems, the overhead system will be like this, there will be a tower and from the tower there will be the insulators which are hanging from this one and here the conductor will be placed. So similar is the case, there will be insulator in the second side. So here the conductor will be lying like this, whatever the number of circuits are there that will be lying. Whereas if you go for the underground cables, underground cable if you are taking the ground, so below the ground the cable will be inserted and the cables will be having generally three phase systems are used, so three core cable will be used. So three core cable will be like this, above the conductor there will be some insulation and above the insulation there will be some sheath, this is my sheath, this will be conductor and there is some insulation. So let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of each of these things. Now coming to the initial investment, in the case of cable, the different layers that will be there, there will be a conductor, above the conductor there will be a insulation, above the insulation there will be a sheath which is used for protecting this insulation from absorbing the moisture. So above this sheath, there will be one more layer to protect the sheath because sheath will get corroded or mechanical injury will happen to the sheath. To protect that one more extra layer will be provided which will act as a padding. So above this again to protect this one more layer will be required and like that multiple layers will be there. Because of this, because whenever the excavation or something happens in the ground, that should not damage your cable. And second one, this whatever the dielectric material is there, this dielectric material absorbs the moisture. So the moisture should not enter into your cable. So in order to protect these things, multiple layers will be there. So automatically we can tell the initial cost will be very high for the case of underground cables. Whereas if you go for the overhead transmission line, the advantage is the conductors will be hamming from the tower. The cost will be the cost of the tower and the cost of the insulation because conductor will be nearly same. But practically it is observed that the cost of overhead transmission line including all the cost will be only 50% of that means it will be 50% of the case of underground system. So overhead transmission line has initial investment that is a major advantage. Now coming to the working voltage, the amount of the voltage that depends on what is the voltage between two conductors in the case of underground cable and here what is the working voltage depends on the voltage between conductor and your tower. So this is the voltage or voltage per phase, here the voltage will be the line voltage or voltage between the conductors. So as the amount of the voltage is increasing, automatically the thickness of insulation required increases. So as the voltage is increased, so the thickness of insulation required increases. When the insulation increases, then automatically size of the cable increases, so the cost increases drastically. Whereas in the case of overhead lines, only we have to add some more insulators and we have to take care that proper ground clearance is maintained. That means height of the tower will be increased a little bit and the number of insulator strings will be added to operate for the higher voltages. So the extra cost required to operate at the higher voltage is less in overhead line as compared to the underground cables and underground cables can not be used for extreme high value of the voltages. That is the second disadvantage of the cables. Now coming to the remaining, generally in the underground cables the fault cases are very less but if due to some reason some fault happens in the cable, it will be very difficult to locate the fault. That means the fault, so whenever the fault happens, the locating the fault is very difficult in the case of underground cables. So now coming to the joints because whenever the cable is over one cable is constructed now I have to make the joining of the two cables wherever you do the joining of the two cables because with respect to time that joint will spoil because it will absorb the moisture. So proper care should be taken in the case of the cables wherever there is a joint this is only possible in the junction box so that we can open it and inspect it. So number of junctions will depend on the number of joints and joining is also not so much easy in the case of cables. And the second one, if you want to take the tapping from this cable to supply to the consumer, the tappings can be done only at the junction box. We cannot randomly make the joints because if you make a hole to make the joint, so the moisture will readily go into this insulation and insulation loses its dielectric property. Whereas in the case of overhead lines, wherever you want to make the joint, we can make the joint from there easily. Joints can be made easily. Even the tappings can be done easily in the overhead transmission line that is the next advantage. Now coming to other effects, coming to the public safety because we know overhead lines are exposed to the atmosphere. 
so as they are exposed to the atmosphere again i am taking for example there is a tower so there is some insulators are there above this there is a conductor let us assume some insulators are there conductor is there there is adjacent transmission line or tower so which is having a insulator then followed by a conductor so the conductors are lying like this so this conductor also is going like this so nearby the plants or any objects which are there during the rainy season or other season the plants will fall on this when the plant is falling on this then automatically it acts as a short circuit or the chances of falls will be more this is first effect and the second effect is wherever the nearby clouds are there we know during the rainy season the thunder storms comes and the lightning strokes will fall on the transmission line when this lightning strokes are falling on the transmission line because they are high voltage waves the insulation breakdown will happen at the insulators that may completely damage or this will have more impact of the lightning strokes in the case of overhead lines whereas if you take the underground cables as the cables are laid below the ground the chances of the faults are very less only chance of the fault is someone will dig the ground without seeing whether the cable is there or not only in that case the cable will be damaged or the cable may take the moisture from the atmosphere and dielectric breakdown happens generally these cases are very less or otherwise we can tell the chances of the falls are minimum in the case of cables when compared to the top overhead transmission lines and let us see what are the other advantages of the cable other advantages of the cable are in the case of cables the conductors are laying very near to each other so as the conductors are very near to each other that means distance of separation between the conductors is less so automatically the value of capacitance is more as the value of the capacitance is more v omega c which is called as the charging current so this charging current will be more there will be continuous charging current that happens in the case of cables which leads to more losses in the case of cables and similarly the dielectric losses also will be more in the case of cables but if you go for the overhead transmission line because the conductor spacing between the conductors is so much high so automatically the value of the capacitance is less so we can tell the charging current is less in the transmission lines but having more value of the capacitance is advantages particularly when the case of switching transients as well as the lightning surges so whenever the lightning surges or the switching transients comes generally the frequency of these transients will be very high for high frequency we know the capacitor acts as a short circuit so it bypass this lightning surge currents to the sheath they will be bypassed to the sheet same thing is the case for switching transients switching transients are again high frequency transients they will be bypassed or discharged to the sheet that is the advantage in underground cables this is not the case for overhead transmission lines so in the case of underground cables the inductance will be less and capacitance is more so as the inductance is less so the drop voltage drop in the conductor will be very less because inductance is a series parameter as the capacitance is more the charging currents are more but it is balanced by the decrease in the value of inductance whereas in the overhead transmission line the inductance is more so automatically voltage drop will be more for a given distance it is clear up to now so now similar way if you are going for the appearance so wherever you want your appearance should be very neat and good then we can go for the underground cables because overhead lines are laid barely over the line so they look very ugly so wherever you want that it looks should be neat and good so then we generally go for the underground cables let us take for example nowadays the smart cities are coming where the cities are uh, want to convert to a overhead line free so that more space will be available and another disadvantage of overhead line is the overhead line occupies some space because it is laid outside and proper clearance is required so more space is required for the overhead lines as compared to underground cables so we have to pay more rent for erecting the transmission lines so let us see the different parameters now the summary of what we have discussed so first one is capital cost so the underground cables are more expensive than overhead systems so practically underground system is two times costlier than overhead system then the second one flexibility expansion of overhead systems are easy compared to underground systems in overhead systems new conductor can be laid along the same line but in underground systems it is very difficult now coming to the fault location and repairs it is very difficult to locate the faults and repair in underground systems now if you want to make the joint in between or take the tapping for the load it is very difficult in the case of underground systems and underground systems cannot be used for voltages greater than 66 kv so these are the disadvantages of uh, 
underground cables now coming to the advantages the safety and appearance is very good for the underground cables because they are not exposed to the atmosphere so there is they are more safe because no person will touch them and experience the shock and the appearance also very neat because they are light below the ground and the frequency of the faults and maintenance cost the overhead lines are exposed to the atmosphere so the chances of falls are more like falling of the trees thunderstorms etc whereas they are very less in underground systems so obviously the maintenance cost of underground cables is very less when compared to overhead systems now coming to the charging current as the conductors are very near to each other in underground systems capacitance and hence the charging current are more in underground system when compared to overhead systems now damage due to lightning so overhead lines are exposed to the atmosphere and hence more affected due to the lighting whereas the underground systems are less exposed to the atmosphere and another advantage is the underground system is because underground system has the capacitance is very more so in underground system as the capacitance is more it suppresses the surge energy by discharging to the sheath so the effect of lightning is very less on the case of underground cables the reason why it is discharging because we know capacitor acts as a short circuit for high frequency signal generally the switches or switching transients they are high frequency signals so the effect will be nullified or bypassed then interference to the communication circuits so underground systems has a minimum interference to the communication circuits so these things we are going to discuss in the topic interference with the communication lines there i will discuss in detail now coming to the switching transients the switching transients whenever the switch is suddenly closed the inductor and capacitor will oppose the change so the inductance is very less and the capacitance is more in underground systems so the effect of switching transients will be less in under underground cables when compared to overhead systems now summarizing all the things what we have studied due to huge initial investment and limitation of voltage up to which they can be used underground systems are used only where overhead system is not possible practically to implement like for example congested areas railway crossings connection of underground power plant to a substation and connection of machines from switchboard etc and where you want very neat operation so only in those cases we go for the underground cables because the cost of underground cables are much more higher when compared to overhead transmission line that's why mainly for extra high voltage transmission we prefer to go for the overhead transmission lines only because bare conductors can be used and the cost will be very less whereas for the distribution systems as well as where there are the crossings or where practically the overhead lines cannot be laid only in those cases we go for underground cables i hope that what is the reason why overhead transmission lines are always preferred compared to underground cables is completely clear to you if you still have any queries you can leave your comments in the comment section below i will answer to your queries from there thank you thank you very much